ISO. ISO. Whoa, Let's get whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clear out the room. I'm coming through. They want to see what I'm about. I have a meeting with the contractor. They're always a drama. Always a drama. I bought two unbelievable commercial units this week. 470,000. 400 is where my head's at with this. I think all three of them are going to need new roof. Weekly gang, we're back. Monday morning. I am absolutely freezing. I have a meeting with the contractor and the steel fabricator because they're always a drama. Always a drama. Saturday morning, I have a drama and today we get it sorted. So come and take a look at what I'm about to do. So what's the answer? I need to talk to him. So how's this gonna work? I just need to know the answers because yeah, then I okay. can, because obviously it's got to replicate on the other two to make life easier and quicker. Well, they, I mean, okay. They only so were 20 past four, so they weren't. Yeah, you didn't, they weren't yeah. a great okay, so hang on a second. So the the building inspector's our guy, he's so, Jim. He's all right. You, right. You're good as gold with him, aren't you? Yeah, he's sweet. So the only reason that we can't let you get things signed off by him personally is because we need an email trail. That's fine. I that's it. That. But that's pretty quick, yeah. I think, as you saw with the, the concrete port. The structural engineer seems to be the, the sticking point at this precise moment so, in time, okay, and the architect's so. awesome. Okay. The, the goalpost is drawn, and he's had the the steel fitting on front of it, holding it down. Common sense to tell me would to be to have it on top. It's common sense, because okay, you'd want course, the weight on the, on the foundation. Yeah. Every structural engineer works differently. Absolutely. And we just have to find the one in, that will work with us quicker, yeah. Yeah. faster, and doesn't take the piss. Because to me, that drawing that I've seen is a piss take. I'm just annoyed because I needed the walls up by Mate, Wednesday. We tomorrow? Yeah, but I needed the yeah. walls up by Wednesday because I needed them up. I wanted them up, there's a reason. I know. Um, but it is what it is. But I think if we can get a little bit of, if we can get the way you lot work together, because remember, I only want the calls about money. Exactly, That's right. That's all I'm interested in. I might change the roof. So what? Brand new. Brand new roof. I thought that was going to be the case anyway. Yeah. You know, there needs new roof. I think all three of them are going to need new roofs. If I'm spending 140, 50 grand on a house, I might as well put a new roof on. We can drop all the chimney stacks in. Yeah. yeah. To take everything out. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think, yeah, I think, I when I was here last week and I was looking and then I went home and I've got the CGI, the render of it. And then you got the roof. I was like, but you know what happened now? We'll get the stuff sorted and in three weeks we'll be all right. I feel you when we get back to the office. Morning boys. How are we? All right, all right. You got a fucking smile on your faces for Monday. Look at this. Can I have a go? Happy workers. Show me. Come on, I've got to go this. Guys. Fucking hell. We got half a house. We got half a house already. There's gonna be no house with him. Um Phil. <laughs> Phil, watch yourself, watch. You are one brave guy. That's <laughs> <sighs> what I have to put up with. Freezing cold weather. Two houses, one, he smashes the windows. This one, now he's smashing the birds. Whatever's going on. He will tip that digger over 100% before we leave. Yeah, so, successful morning. We've realized that the structural engineer is, well, everything he's doing is overkill. And all weekend, he's been playing on my mind and bugging me. So I thought the easiest way to resolve it was get a steel fabricator here who's been doing it for like a very long time. Very, very renowned and very successful at what he does with his business, which is obviously steels. And I wanted his opinion. Obviously, a structural engineer's opinion is more important, but because I have so many, this one didn't make sense. Got to the bottom of it, know my answer, and we move forward. Everyone's happy, and I'm happy. And now let's go to the office and to JD Sports. So guys, before we go to JD, and before we watch the England game, I want to give you a rundown of what happened this morning. So our contractor, Craig, who was in the video, has got three builds on at the moment. He's doing three rear story single extensions, and three double story side extensions, and all the houses are within a street of each other. And we have an issue because he's under contract for a certain amount of money, so it all lies on him. But he said to us that the drawings that we had from our structural engineer are overkill, which I agree, massively agree. So I want to show you what was going on today so you understand it. This is the goalpost system that we need to use at the back of the extension where we have it for all the windows and the doors and then the roof will come down and rest into it. This is what our structural engineer has said that we need to have fabricated. 
before we start building the walls, obviously, because we need to put it in. So we have a post here, as you can see, and a post here, and then we have a post running inside it. So technically, it's like that. It's, it's two brackets and it's welded into the side or bolted into the side. Now, the fabricator said, why don't you just have the two coming up and then the one sitting on top, which makes complete sense. So then the weight of it is holding down and going into the structure. That's cheaper, that's more expensive, they both do the same job. Craig, our contractor, was like, Steve, we're running three of these through three of the rear story extensions on the three projects that we're doing. There's a cost implication of around nine grand. Now, people look at me like saying, hang on, that's not right with the steel. It is right because these steels weigh nearly half a ton. And to get them into the back gardens of the three houses, we will need to hire a crane and close the streets. So there's a cost. What we've decided to do, as you can see here, so the beam would have run all the way along there. So what we've decided to do, that is what they wanted to do. They wanted to put the beam all the way across like that. That's what was going to happen. Now we've decided to do this. A goal post there and a goal post there two individual goal posts. So four beams going down, one going across, and then we'll have the double doors there. These three window panes now, because this is the bifolds, we're not having bifolds now, will be two windows each side, like that, if that makes sense. So the goal post structure, easier to maneuver, so we don't have to have a crane, and we don't have to close the street with a permit. Easy to assemble with with manpower because it's not obviously as heavy as it was. So that's what's happened today and that's the meeting that you saw this morning because we wanted to get it sorted because we were supposed to have the walls built today, the brickies were booked in, but because the steel's not fabricated, we've had to put it on hold. Guys, anybody who doesn't understand any of this, message me and I'll explain to you. Even better, if you come on one of my tour days where I go around to the properties, I can actually show you and explain to you in way more detail than this. Ta-da! Guys, we're back because I've just got off the phone to the structural engineer and change a plan. So they want to put a beam there, beam there. Still going all the way across, obviously. Onto a pad stone, there and there and there. A split that is bolted in the middle and then two stills going back. That's what they want to do now. That's what they've just informed me. I'm happy with that. The contractor's happy because it's less steel, less money, smaller pieces, easier to manoeuvre, no cranes, no road closures. This is what it looks like it's going to be. Happy days. Everyone's happy. Problem resolved. A few minutes later. Guys, so this is a five bedroom house that we are doing and I want it to be a four bedroom. So we've got to change all upstairs now. Let me see what Tom comes up with first, then I'm gonna show you what I come up with with Isabella. And then maybe you guys can give us some input on this as well, and maybe you can see something that we can't see. So that'd be quite interesting if you get any comments below. Tell us what you would do, or just message me. So I believe, the, the walls that we can't change are these ones. We can't change these walls. I mean, this isn't a wall, this is the, these are the ones that we can't change. Okay. Everything else can be moved. Obviously, this is part of our new installations. This is relevant. So, Personally, I would close off this bathroom because I don't think that this bathroom is a bathroom. It's more. Twenty a minutes later. Um, and then, so bedroom three, then is bedroom three. Bedroom two is bedroom two. Bedroom one is bedroom one. So then we've only got three bedrooms. And I've lost the bedroom. <laughs> okay. okay. So hang you on. Go for it then. Yeah, give it me. <laughs> that is so funny. So now we have a three-bedroom house and a five-bedroom <laughs> house. So what I would do is I'd lose this here, there, and I'd put that there. So I'd make bedroom one there. I'd block that up. I'd make that into bedroom two with an ensuite. I'd have that as bedroom three. I'd have that as bedroom four. And I would have that as the master bathroom. There you go. That's what needs to happen to that house. Sure. So yep. I need the dimensions of each room just to make sure it works because the master bathroom might have to go in bedroom four and four swaps with the bathroom. So I need to see which room's bigger and stuff like that. 
before we actually have it, but that is the new layout. But yeah, that's what needs to happen with that one, guys, just so I'll give you a, a, a peek insight into how my brain works when it comes to adding space or removing space to create space, if that makes sense. So we're removing, we're creating, we're creating, we're removing, and if we're Tom, we're just getting rid of loads of bedrooms. World Cup time, JD time, food time. Oh man, that's quality. Gets a yard. Oh, time thoughts. Full to the brim after our feast, which was good. But yeah, I think we're gonna win the World Cup. Tell them what you did. I'm a little bit excited. Tell did them a, what you did when Saka scored. Did a lap of honour. Yeah. Yeah, a little lap of honour. Yes, yeah, Baby Cruz lost his head in the belly as well. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. But now, um, good start. Three nil. Tactics are spot on, formation is correct. Tom, what's your thoughts? It's wonderful. How good was like, do you know when he passed it to him? Oh, it's then... amazing, did you see the pass? Wow. On. Cheers, Jeff. <laughs> Big win for the boys. Huge win for the boys. Voice has gone again. <laughs> Huge win. Duna, it's only a run, it's only a run. It doesn't mean anything. It means everything. It basically means we're going to win the World Cup. Now we are on our way to JD Sports to collect some trainers for our second giveaway, which is happening on the 2nd of December at a school in Birmingham, where the headmaster's confirmed. He potentially may close the gates. We'll see. Weekly gang, it's got some moves. Should I do my little? <laughs> nah, what's the ones you were doing earlier? This isn't this isn't the right song to it. He needs a song. He needs his song. Yeah. The first time ever in nearly a year, I saw TT do some moves. Just he started, he started moving, he started dropping, flicking his fingers. He was like, "It's got to be a rhythm to him." Yeah, he's like, he's, <laughs> and we all looked, and then he was like. I haven't done a thing. I'm not me. <laughs> that was me. Why don't you tell me the same? 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 Why don't you Seventeen. 21 pairs. So we've got 21 pairs and we want to take about 100 to the school. So this place, that was quite good. That was helpful. The management are not good. They're not happy. They don't want to associate themselves with any charity, which, which makes no sense whatsoever because you can film outside and put the logo in but you can't film inside. But either way, we got them, and yeah, we keep going. Morning, mate. Morning. Manchester. Weekly gang, we're in Manchester. We're safe. He's on the phone. But we have come to shoot a video that was technically going to be about HMOs, because that's what his speciality is, but it's project management. We're going to do how to project manage from start to finish tips and tricks, bits and pieces. This guy is very successful in HMOs. I think we're going to an 11 or 12 bedroom next and stuff like that. So it's going to be an interesting day. And I have a few HMOs and I've bought a few HMOs recently as well. So it's going to be interesting for me because I've done HMOs for about five years. So it's nice to get other people's interpretations on it. Here he is, it's finished. <laughs> we'll have an interesting day, hopefully. And I made the, the mistake again because I've came in the wrong car today. I picked the wrong car up from the drive, came in this one, haven't got a pair of trainers in the back of it like I have the other one. So, rookie mistake. Blame him. You never have boots or anything. No, but I always have a pair of trainers. I always have a pair of trainers in the back of the car. Uh, okay. Yes. There's no trainers in that car. Not in that one, no. No. But you know what? We move.
You appreciate getting back in the car? Not just any car. No Lamborghini. You're right. Yes. Second location? Oh, bless you, sir. Bless you. Second location. This is where the... This is where the fun begins. Just now we get to ask a lot of questions. We've also got a biscuit factory behind us. And the smell... Pretty decent. <laughs> Photo shoot done. <laughs> it wasn't a photo shoot. <laughs> so, video done. You got me. You got me on my phone. You got me. Um, what a great day. Massive shout out to this guy here. Here's his social medias. Give him a follow. Knows his stuff. Very intelligent. It's refreshing to be around somebody who understands certain things because it shows you the level of experience that they actually have. Guess where they're taking us? Nando's. We're going to Nando's. Duna's giving the... What did you give Duna? <laughs> yes, Giza, we're at the promised land. Right, we are back again. Nando's, baby. What are we going to get, Phil? Obviously. The uh, share platter. Yes, sir. Me and my boy. So, yeah, come, enjoy. A few minutes later. 10 out of 10. <laughs> As always, Nando's. Unbelievable. We suffered. Wow. <laughs> they have been so dramatic about it. So dramatic. Phil and Duna <laughs> especially. <laughs> Guys, I've got to work at 12 o'clock today, but I have been in Birmingham for the last hour. I've been making phone calls, sitting there and doing some bits and pieces, which I'm going to fill you in on because it's very important what I've done this morning. And I've came into my offices and look at that. They're absolutely spotless. Thanks Isabella to, had you all working. Thanks to Phil. Phil's been grafting. Has Isabella like, got the whip out? Oh, yeah. An hour, an hour nice. You cool. happy about it? Yeah, of course. No, you're not. But look at that. Yeah. <laughs> look how clean you're. I've never seen your room so clean. And all of this down here. I love these wall boxes. Very impressive. Reception needs to be sorted, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's not. We've got to get rid of all that and turn it into a reception because it's such a waste of a space. So we need a TV on the wall, some sofas in there. I watered your plants. Did you water my plants? Yes. Sir. Oh, thank you, son. Guys, my plants are very important to me. Who don't know that? I think the whole of the week who don't know that, do they? Yeah. So I have two plants in this office. Super important to me. Should we show them? Go on. This is plant one. So there's plant one. <laughs> that was bought to me by two of our really good friends, Cam and Roya, as a moving present. But it's bought for me and Isabella as well. And this one was bought by Tom, which is super, super important because I always wanted this plant. That one. It's not as important to me. That was just a decoration, I'll be honest. That's why them two are important. But look at the room. Guys, I'm impressed. Also, I'm trying to buy two houses at auction. I've just called them. They've told me to put two pre-auction offers in and they'll let me know. Great properties, I'll run through them with you. You know what, I don't know whether I can run through them. Yeah, I can. Because I've run through one with you the other day. Called the estate agents yesterday and guess what? Someone's tried to outbid me. Damn. Someone who actually told the auctioneer, who's a friend of mine, that they are part of, well no, they're not part, they follow me on social media, they saw a property and they've tried to outbid me. Why would you do that? It's not gonna stop me from showing you guys what I'm trying to buy, because if someone tries to outbid me, I'll let them have it. Plenty more properties in the sea. First mentoring session is First mentoring over. session is done and during that mentoring session, me and Isabella might have bought a house. What are the odds of that, eh? Quite slim. Yeah. Good odds. I'm having a great day. I'm excited for the networking event on Saturday night. Networking event, Christmas party, cruises party, baby cruises first ever party party. The gender reveal wasn't really a party, was it? No. This is a party. And Tony's, so Tony's initiations on a day as well. Tony's it? initiation. Tony, how are you? For your initiation at Cruises um, I've done it, didn't I? Beat on my pool, that was my like welcome to. You no, know, yeah. guys, listen, let's just get this let's just get this out there now. He's gonna live on that forever. He's like 
You know that pop star who had a number one hit in 1987 and he's still trying to do it today. That's him. That's you. Living off one win. It's not happening. Someone go and buy a pool table, please, and get it in here now. <laughs> Seriously, let's go and buy a pool table and let's put this to bed. It was complete and utter luck, wasn't it? Look, Phil. Phil, tell the truth. Two balls in one go that he didn't mean. You know what? I didn't put it on camera. You saw it. Yeah. Not happened. No. I do not lose. Wiki gang, we have had a fucking incident. He has come all the way from London today to see us and someone smashed his car. Put the window through, trying to break in and take whatever on the car park that was that way. So yeah, we'll show you, that's his window. That's what's happened. And I'm pissed, very pissed off because what happens here in Birmingham, you have the dual carriageway with the bridge going across it, and then you have the car park, which is on that side. Lads sit on the bridge, they watch people pull up, and then when they see them walk off, they see what direction they're going in, and as you can imagine, Birmingham's a big place, and from this car park crossing the dual carriageway, going into town up here by me, is far. So as soon as that they see these guys, like these guys, get so far, they literally just give the thumbs up to their mates, and their mates go and rob the cars. If I could catch one of them, I can't tell you what I would do because it's disgusting. I hate it. It really, really bugs me, stuff like this. I don't like it. But we move. Don't we, Rock? Yep. So uh, Rocky's pissed. Doesn't want to speak. Does really. <laughs> <laughs> All mentor is done, it's all finished, and now we're getting ready for the Zoom. Table's back. Put a house. Yeah. Can't believe it. Wasn't buying any houses, completely stopped buying houses, all I'm buying. So guys, I actually have to address this because my phone and my Instagram is blowing up. Yes, in last week's weekly I said this. Okay, I'm still not buying it, but no, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying it works. It works for someone that's got cash. You three yeah. trying to sell me a house? No, no. I have a lot of houses, but I'm not buying houses anymore. But it didn't mean I wasn't buying property. I was buying buildings. I bought two unbelievable commercial units this week, which I'm going to show you tomorrow or Friday. And they cost me about half a million, the two of them. I'm going to turn them into residential, leave the shops downstairs and rent them out. They're done, sorted, they're ours, amazing. One's got like nine or 10 offices in there at the minute, so I'll get them converted. I also put an offering on a piece of land that's got um, development planning application has been approved for 10 three bedroom houses. So I put an offering, I'm 50-50 on that because my offer's good, but I know some idiot out there's gonna pay more money. So that's why I wasn't buying any houses, but today I bought a house and I can make about 150 grand profit on it. That's the only reason I bought it, but no more houses. There are a number of strategies that cash flow is amazing. Weekly gang, we're back shooting another video and do a 360 of this please Phil. Incredible incredible build and I'm gonna go through it with you guys in a little bit but I'm not gonna tell you too much because the video coming out next week on this with this guy here so you'll all be seeing hey. this guy we'll shoot the video I'll fill you in on some bits and pieces but because this is out Sunday guys I can't give you the numbers or anything because the video is gonna be out probably Wednesday isn't it yeah Wednesday or Thursday so you will see and you will get to know who this guy is but we're not gonna give you any of the numbers Tres, 
Look weekly. Look at that. Is that what you said? Yes. You like the way I pronounce that, don't you? Steve, thank you. No worries, mate. No, it's good. Guys, good. it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm not going next door because it's been sold already, but it's basically a mirror image, just different colours. Yes. Just and different bathroom suite, different um, kitchen. But the layout. But the so, layout's the same. Okay. Guys, I want to talk to you about a couple of things that he's done. So this is an environmentally friendly house. Yeah. And little things that he's done in here. So tell him what the floor is. So the floor is actually micro cement. Um, I had actually originally wanted um, a polished concrete, but through the course of trying to understand polished concrete, I realized that actually the biggest bay you can have is a 3.6 meter bay. And I didn't want expansion joints in it. So when I found out about micro cement, I thought there's a lot of benefits to that. And one of the other benefits was we could screed early on and have a really good platform to work on and then micro cement towards the end. So whereas if I'd have gone down the polished concrete route, we might have scratched it, cracked it. Damaged it while it, you're working it. on top yeah, of it. So that was really beneficial. And also little tiny things like these aren't huge things, but they are very thoughtful things. They've got like a sheet and having your membrane in the, in, the, in, the, in the walls around the house. And you've even put another layer of plasterboard in front. So if anybody draws in to hang anything up or put TVs on it, it doesn't get pierced. Yes. You've put, you've put ply, is it ply or have you put? Plywood, yeah. Well, put ply behind the back. The reason I put that extra layer on was so that we don't pierce the membrane. And then when somebody's putting a TV on the wall, they might screw straight through it. And so what we did was we put a piece of ply where anybody might put a TV and took some pictures of it. And um, those pictures have measurements on, so that if anybody wants to hang that TV, they can see exactly where to do it. Thought of everything. Video is out next week. You do not want to miss this one. How are we people? Everyone good? Give back. It's not just trainers and stuff. We're back at a college doing a two hour lecture. We're back at a college doing a two hour talk on branding and marketing and media which is something we do. So guys, everybody that's commented on the newspapers saying that we should do different things apart from giving people trainers and stuff, if you actually look into what we do, we're here, giving back. College, did a fantastic talk, <laughs> two hours. What is going on with you guys? He's just stormed over to my desk and he's looked at my screen and he's gone, so who am I sitting next to? And I've gone, I've not put you on yet. And he went, well, you know, you look nice today. I like you back. <laughs> I know who he's sitting next to. I know exactly who he's sitting next to. I do. I do. So yeah, fantastic morning. Couple of things I need to tell you guys where some contractors are having a conversation with us because they're due some money today and the works that they have carried out are not up to the amount of money they're asking for. So I want to talk to you about that before the weekly ends. Phil, are you getting tomorrow's in the weekly for Sunday or is it for next week? Next week, baby. Next week guys. Um, networking event tomorrow. Oh, and the JV. Christmas party and the JV meet up in the morning. Lots going on over the weekend. But right now, I'm going to buy 100 footballs. I don't know where the where the size came from, but <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I have a funny feeling this man's gonna take off. So come here guys, have a look at this. I've pushed it to the back of the van, but if the wind catches that, it's going to lift up and take off basically. Phil, what's your engineering aerodynamic space? Yeah, so you NASA need um, take on it. The aerodynamics needs to be this level like this, so when the car moves, it just floats. <laughs> was, that your, was that your explanation? Yeah. That was as bad as your underpinning. Yeah. We should get it right, shouldn't we? Yeah, send it. I'm positive. Yeah. Listen, guys, we make it work. It always works out in the end. I promise. What are we doing, Tom? Test run. Why? Why are we doing a test run? In case it flies away. Right. And if it flies away, then there's nothing we can do because it's going to fly to the sky and then we'll never see it again. Back off goes Leclerc! Through goes! 
goes Hamilton! Unbelievable stuff! Okay. <laughs> we need to put some rope light over the top of it. Can we go again? The, 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 the board on the top lifted off. Oh, uh, yeah, the rope one there is gone. Round two. Lady, go! Take two. Extra rope, extra stability. Can't get wrong now. Here we go. Here we go. Give some willy. Get in. Great success. Friday night viewings. This is a property that I'm looking at turning into flats. And the agent's just pulled up. So I'll come inside, take a look. I need to be careful of turning around and hitting that lamppost behind me, don't I? Yes. Self-awareness. <laughs> so knocked through, but it's still on two land registries. Yeah. I get it. Yes. So it's got to be cash buyers. Yes. Is it the both houses? And it's just, there's a, just where's the a, where's a join in the middle to go through to the next door? Round there. <laughs> okay. I know, oh, yeah, I was just trying to, because obviously the back there wasn't one then. I was thinking. Here. This is the second house. <laughs> <laughs> I was completely like lost. I didn't know what the hell was going on. What's the, what's the, what's the figure? Three seven three six five for the two. Four seventy. Oh, I thought it was less than that. Sorry. No, four seventy. So for the two. Two three five per house. Right. And you said tricky seller or yeah. tricky sale. Tricky sale more than anything, just okay. because it's a limited market. Okay. It's only someone that's got four hundred and seventy grand plus in the bank. Yep. And um, that's happy to pay for two stamp duties. But what you would do is, if you brought it, is just get the land registry put together. Yeah. Just turn into flats. Yeah. That's the best thing to say. And the seller, how are they? Oh, is in the tricky seller, is in like the house, not the not Yeah, so I mean, but who, is, the seller's okay? Yeah, Good, so very easy going? Yeah, yeah, really nice guy. Really very, nice. I like that, okay. okay. You know if it's on two land registries though? Yes. Why, what's the problem with, like, why, why is it cash purchase? Why couldn't it be a bridge or something? Because of the door. <laughs> oh, you yeah. get a bridging loan. Yeah, bridging's the same thing. Yeah. It's just, you, you couldn't get, get a mortgage, line. but you get you a bridge. You get a mortgage, but you get a bridging loan. Yeah. What figure would they take for it? Put a figure forward, I'll put it forward. Give me an idea, so we're not messing you about, we're not it's messing hard. about. It's hard to say, I'd have to report a figure. Okay. I like it. Have you looked up I just, it's just flats, I've got lots around here. Um, <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just, I just think it's great. Yeah. The rental so market. Much potential well, the rental market around here is nuts at the minute. I've got it's absolutely crazy. Scared the shit out of me. What? I saw a reflection in the window. And it was you. Yeah, it was My heart missed a beat. Oh, you could, <laughs> and this one's not out. <laughs> I'm getting baffled here. Okay. There's a lot of configuration to do though. Like. I'll send you a floor plan. Yes, please. If you I'll could, that would be fantastic. Plan, Confused. Absolutely baffled. My head has gone. So that house is smaller than this one. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Because if you look, Greg, if you come here, yeah. it ends there. Second house ends here. Yes. And then that house goes round. Yeah, because I saw from upstairs. Yes. I'd like to pay yeah. four to four twenty. Okay. Um, just the current market and the money I'm going to spend on it. It's just that's where all my head's at. Okay. Um, just have a word with him, see where he's at. Because you never know. I don't yeah. know where he's at. You don't you know, know his financial start position. And then work up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't want to start for four fifty, and then I want to. Yeah, so I want to pay about four, um, because it's no use to anybody, to me personally, and us. It's no use in this state. He no, probably needs knocking down and rebuilding. To be completely <laughs> honest, but as a care home, it just doesn't work for us. No. Um, no. As a HMO, it doesn't work for me yeah. because there's too many here. Um, I don't like the HMOs in Erdington at all. I just think flats would just be... Do you want to buy a block of flats? I might have some that's got a block of flats and Gladstone Road. 100%. Around the yeah, anything to do with flats on... Drive up Gladstone Road on the way back tonight. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the, num uh, the number for Love Nor Money, but it's a grey building. You'll see it. I don't it's know. Massive, Gladstone. Massive unit. The whole block you can buy that. that is it, split, uh, is it brand new or is no. it, it it needs doing? It's good. Well, I'll speak to the owner and see if I can do a one off you with you. I, I, I'm definitely interested. I think it might be 32. Gladstone? 
think so. Okay, I'll it's do definitely that. Definitely bad stone. I think it's very good. Great building. I want to pay 400. So, but it, le it leads on something great because there's some flats around the corner we're going to look at. Look at the size of it. This is the plot. It's from here. It's about 23 rooms, I think, inside. It's got a huge. I don't think it was a garage because it's got steps going up into it, but I think that one was the garage. Huge space at the back of this house that could potentially create something. Brain sticking. Probably get eight flats, seven flats, seven or eight flats, <laughs> eight flats, nine flats, seven or eight flats. I don't know. And my brain is just going crazy. 470,000 is what the owner wants. 400 is where my head's at with this. Re the cost of build and get it done, probably about 350, 300 to 350. I like this. Keep you updated on this. Monday. Phil, can you please remind me to tell the weekly? Also guys, I need to show you the two. Hi, hi. Also guys, I need to show you the two commercial units I bought in Derby. So that's very important to get them on, but I don't know whether we're going to get them in by the end of today. Unless I just Steve's cam. Isabella's cam? Yes, or Phil's cam? Weekly gang, Saturday morning. I'm ending the weekly here and starting the new weekly here because I'm with all these guys. And all these guys who are going outside now. Update of JV2. So this week has been awesome. I've had a great week. I've bought some fantastic properties that I've not been able to show you a couple of them. Yesterday, did we get it? Did we not get it? Find out on Monday. But I'm going to celebrate tonight because it is our Christmas networking party. We have a huge surprise because it's just fun. We're trying to have fun. We're celebrating Baby Cruise as well with our networking party tonight and I will catch you guys on Monday where I have a huge surprise for you.